Okay, hello, hello YouTube guys and eBay people. Um, today I have an album to show you. It's not finished yet, but I will have it post uh, finished by tonight and then posted by tomorrow morning, maybe even tonight. This is the uh, Tattered Time from Die Cuts with a View paper collection. And I created this folio album. The folio album, of course, is by Kathy Ortha. I purchased the tutorial from her. And then here, I have a K & Company memory stickers. And I had this for the longest time, not sure what I was going to use it with. I just loved it because it looks kind of like a steampunk, um, you know, that vintage look. So basically what I did was I took this sticker and then I got these gears here. They're mixed in. They're Tim Holtz and the Spellbinder gears mixed in all over here I hope you can see okay so let me show you the die cuts okay so this is the spellbinder die, uh, gears die cuts that I just got today or not today but a couple days ago and I finally got around to playing with them today and then sorry doing this on my dining room table and I don't have as much space but my scrapbook table is even worse so here's what they look like in chipboard so these are gonna go up in for sale okay on my eBay and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later so you got even this size here and then this side here okay and you got the bigger ones like this And then this is like the, um, what you call it, the leftover. So basically, when I cut it, I take this, this is inside, and when I cut it out, this is a thin border I've left. And I thought it would be really cute to put in a picture in here, you know, as a frame as for a picture. So this will be in part of the set too. And here's the largest gear, which is this one. Oops, sorry. And I know it's hard to really see with um, me just holding it and putting it down. But you can, you know, like I said, I have this up on my eBay store tonight while I'm loading up the video. So it will be up. So this one makes this die cut here. So basically, you get, let me see here, one, two. So you get these four different sizes here. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see Okay, plus this size, okay, and then you'll get this size. So basically there's six gears in this set, yeah? So there they are, and then you get this extra, okay, that you can use. So basically what, so be, there's six plus the extra makes it seven, and you're going to receive three of each size. So you're looking at 21 pieces. And then I'll have the sizes and dimensions up on my listing under the description. So you'll be able to, um, so I will give you the sizes of each of these gears, okay? So, so from the sticker, I created this gear border to go around it for the cover. So you can see here, I use this here backed it onto a circle then I layered this one with this and then underneath this I layered it with this gear so three layers of gears so they're on pop dots okay and then basically they're all adhered to this uh, oh, this side to a medium weight chipboard okay and this medium weight chipboard I covered in a wood grain paper reason why I did that is because if you look at this sticker, this can company sticker underneath, it's a cork board. So that wood background really matched up with it. So the wood paper I placed on the front and the back. Then I put like this gear here. And then I think I used these square ones. This one here. And then another one of this to go here. 
Then I put this one here. And like I said, for this one here, it's layered with this, this, and this. So these three years here, okay? And then, basically, I put a, you know, I cut out a circle with the, the stability circles, a black circle underneath here, okay? On this side here, this side I cut out with a cardstock, this side is with a chipboard, and I painted it black, okay? So this chipboard is painted black, and then on the back I covered it with black cardstock, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. Kenny, I'm off camera. This album is just so big, you know. So I'm black card stuff like that, okay? And then, let me open up. So basically, it looks something like this, okay? So as you can see, I haven't completed yet. I gotta do the inside flap. And then with these, I'm gonna make tabs with the gears so I have to still cut those out of black paper see the tatter time paper isn't that really nice okay so I'll go more into the album later and of course each one of these has a pocket and here's the gears that I've layered on top of here and I will show you how to make the gears in a moment just wanted to show you this hope you can see it you know I mean you can buy the metal gears but you know, they can get quite expensive, so, you know, you can make them yourself with out of the chipboards. And I'll show you how to get this metallic, this bronze metallic age look, okay? So here's a closer look. I hope you can see the pitting and the color and all of this, okay? So basically, the material you're going to need is the Spellbinder Gears die cut. Now these can cut the 0 0.20 chipboards, okay? No thicker than that. Do not do it with the 0 0.30. I tried it, didn't work. It got, I just didn't want to force my uh, big shot to go through it, but it just wouldn't budge through because it was too thick. And I learned my lesson. I broke my um, big shot once already. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to force it through, but when I did a 0.20, it just, went through really nice and quickly okay and then some chipboards you need to make your chipboard die cuts and then you need some scrap paper black acrylic paint I'm using a Tim Holtz dabbler but or dabber you don't need to use the Tim Holtz dabber you can also get the acrylic paints that you can find at Walmart puffy paint black puffy paint and then the ultra thick embossing enamel powder bronze, the UDs, okay? You need this one. Okay. So, here's a couple of the ones that I've already. Let me show, let's see. I should bring it here, yeah. That I made right here. Let me bring this up. Bring it lower. Okay. So here's some that I made, but I need a little bit more to mirror to mirror it. You know, I did the lower left corner, and now I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let me just tilt this. Okay, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Um, so this is what we'll be making today. Okay, so this one I, I just painted it black. I still need to paint. Let me see here. I still need to paint this one black. So we'll start with that first. Okay. So basically, let's take the back paint dobbler and tap it. And just color it in real quick. And you know, acrylic paint dries so fast, so which is great. Okay. And I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise going around. My kids are still up. My husband is up. They're all in the... My son is playing his video game. And and my husband and my daughter are watching... I think it was Grimm. We just watched Dracula. I'm so glad. It took forever for them to get a 
new series up. I'm still waiting for Wonderland and Once Upon a Time to get a new episode up. So, both sides, okay? And I'm just going to put this on the side here and bring this red paper up. I'm going to cover that. So basically, take this black puffy paint, okay? And then you want to make sure you shake it well. Oops. Okay, that was a little too much. Uh, covered up the hole here. Alex, can you get me a paper towel, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay, I covered up that hole, but that's easy to fix. I just put a, I don't have to put a whole lot in, but a good amount. Thank you, Alex. Alex, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. That was my son. He's officially a teen. Turned 13 last year, so he's officially a teenager. You know, headphone on and everything, yeah? Sometimes I'm calling and calling him and wondering why he's not answering. He has headsets on and he's oblivious to everything around him. He is crazy about Xbox and he's been bugging me for Xbox One. So I'm trying to convince him to wait a couple years so that, you know, how electronics are, they get cheaper after a couple of years. Okay. Okay, so that's all covered up in this uh, puffy paint that I purchased at Walmart. Okay, do the same for these two gears. Sorry, I know this is a boring part, but I wasn't sure if I should just explain it or show you, so I'll just show you. And I'm sure you guys know what happens next. You place the embossing powder on top, melt it, and voila. You got your grudged up gears. All in my grunge pieces. Now what's cool is that you can do this with um, you know the Tim Holtz birdcage? The date birdcage, I've done it with the weathered clock. If you look at some of my albums you're gonna see I did a you know weathered clock that looks all grunged up and you know beaten up I guess I should say aged and beaten up. All of that. Um, you can, I got, I just got an AccuCut die, it's a garden gate and I can grunge that up too, so that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to be playing around with them this weekend. Okay, so like that. Okay, cover this. And now we get our UD, okay. That right here. And basically, what I like to do is put some in the lid, like that, okay? And then I just sprinkle it on like this. So I've been doing this all day. Just put it on generously. Make something like that. And then I shake it off. Okay. Because we want some of that black to go through, but you know you're gonna see the black even if you think when, when you first put it on. It's like, wow, that looks like a lot of beauty, but the black will come through, and you'll see. And the chipboard will start bending a little bit, but it'll sh it'll straighten itself out. So, okay. and then do this last part. Okay. Okay, there we go. Put the powder back. Oh, I forgot my hot glue gun, a uh, hot air gun. Hold on, yeah. 
Let me stop the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So let's see here. I want to do it on top of this because I don't want it getting on the table. Not on my dining room table. I'll just die. There we go. Put this off on the side. Okay, I hope you can see. Put this on the side. Okay. So it's going to get a little noisy here. Sorry, guys. Okay. Like I said, I hope you can see. Now, as you're melting the UD, it is going to start bubbling up a little bit, and that's okay. You want it to bubble, because when it bubbles, it starts creating those pits, you know, the pitted look. But you don't want a powder look on these, okay? And like I said, this, as you can see here, they're starting to curl up, but it will straighten out. Okay, so don't worry about that. Hope you can see the changes. Okay. No. Okay. So just hold it to bubble a little bit. You don't want it to bubble too much. Okay. Or boil. Okay. There we go. It's when it kind of boils a little bit and then those bubbles pop that's what gives it that pitted look and then that's when the black shines through okay alrighty okay let me stop and then I blow on it a little now I don't know if you can see okay I didn't get much bubbles there's some bubbles on there so you want to pop the bubble so you heat up the heat gun and kind of just zap that section until the bubbles break. Okay, when the bubble break, that's like I said, that's when you get the pitted look. You see, even though it was all curved up, now it's straight. Okay, so it looks like that. Let's do the same thing for the other two, and then we're finished with this one here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. For the Spellbinders die, you get a set of three, 21 pieces, and the cost is $1.50, and then $1.70, or 75 I believe, I have to check on eBay, for shipping on the first piece, and then $0.25 cents for each additional piece, and then if you buy 10 or more items from my store, you get free shipping. And like I said, I do carry some of the um, AccuCut guys to you so I have the so cute then I have the portrait frame uh, bird cage okay, I want to put that bubble there so I can have a pitted look so. mm -hmm. oh, this one too has bubbles I don't want the ugly bubbles I want the pitted look there we go. Okay, so here we go. Here's this one here, okay? And then... Okay. Let me get the other one, my album. So I can show you the layout. I'm gonna lay it out. Okay. So 
So here this is, and I'm going to cover, I'm going to place something in the middle. I'm taking clocks. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might print up a clock or something. So this one goes on, you know, foam stickers, and it's going to be propped up, and it will go up like this here. This one, too. i got to cut out the black circle, and then this will go like this here. And then, so here are the two gears that we just did okay and that will, will go here and this will go here and then see these two will go here and then I have one here and this will go on top so then now it's going to be a mirror image of this side okay so now all I gotta do is I hear it down and that's it um, I hope you had fun and I hope this inspires you to do something new. I will put up links Okay uh, For my die cuts. Here's the Tim Holtz die cuts that I sell in the store So even this one here as you can see this was a Tim Holtz. Yeah, so it went from This to this so how cool is that it is a messy project, but it's fun Okay, and I also have Hardware findings, you know, where they have the binding and the key and the keyhole. So you can even grunge it up like this. You can use black beauty instead of bronze. Do the same thing. And then rub over it with um, acrylic paint. So I've done it with the acrylic metallic paints. I've done silver. I've done gold. I've done green, metallic green, metallic purple. So there's a lot you can do with this. You can match it up to any, you know, um, the colors in the paper any way you want to so lots of great ideas just from this you can do so much okay so I hope you had a great time oh and I just want to say for the Tim Holtz gear you get three size gears okay and so this is one set and you get a set of four so you get 12 gears three of each size four of each size excuse me for $1.50 again so if you buy this for $1.50, the shipping will be $170. So you're looking at $320. Then when you purchase the second item, let's say you decide you wanted to get these spellbinder gears, that's also $150. Okay. And then so it's $150, second item, so it's $0.25. Cents, so it comes out to $175. So you add $175 to this. To 350, I believe I said 325. You get 475, and then but if you buy 10 sets, so let's say you got a couple of sets of this, you bought more than one set, a couple of sets of this, and it came out to ten dollars. Uh, came out to ten orders, so about fifteen dollars. Then your shipping is free, and they're shipped first class mail, and you are able to track it on eBay. If I, because I ship it through eBay, so they automatically upload the tracking number and you know all and whatnot, all that. And it does take me. I know I have it up for about four days because I usually cut these to orders, but usually I can get the orders out less than four days, except for weekends, Saturday and Friday nights. Once you order, if you order it on Friday night, then it doesn't go out on Saturday. It goes out on Monday. Okay, if you get it, if you order it in uh, Friday morning, I try to get it out by Friday afternoon. But generally, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no shipping. So, <coughs> any items purchased on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, the cold from the Thanksgiving is still lingering, then it goes out on Monday. Okay? And if it's a big order, Please keep in mind, I do cut these to order because I don't have a space to store them, you know, store the stock. So I do cut them to order. So if you do make a big order, please give me some time to fill it up, okay? And that's it. And I'll probably be back to post one more album. That's my Butterfly Garden album. And that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.